Hi. In this film, we're going to be looking at the second test that you would be asked to do as part of a grade one exam in the oral tests. And this test involves singing. So the first thing to say about that is there are loads of people out there who absolutely love singing. And that's a great thing. And it's a very good thing for any musician to be able to do. Um, there are some people who are not so keen on singing and we do understand that that can be a slightly difficult thing for some people. So the important thing to say about this is that you do not have to be a wonderful singing star to do this test. As long as you can pitch the notes, it doesn't matter about the quality of your voice. It's about hearing notes and singing them back as accurately as you can. And it's something that most people can do with a bit of practice. Now, just before we get into what we have to do in this test, perhaps the most important bit of advice that I can give you if you're going to do some singing, and it's maybe something you're not quite so used to, is this. Try and hear the notes in your head before you sing them. If you just open your mouth and start singing notes, you're not very sure what's going to come out. So if you can get used to hearing a note and then singing it, then you'll get more confident about doing the singing. Then when you hear a handful of notes, as you're going to hear in the test we're going to talk about soon, then you'll be able to think about those notes, remember those notes, and then you'll be able to sing them back with more confidence. And the second piece of general advice that I give is when you're going to sing, make sure you take a deep breath. Because lots of people try to sing without taking much of a breath. And that means that your singing's never going to be terribly confident. It might well go a little bit flat. And you might be panicking a bit because you might be thinking, oh my goodness, I'm going to run out of breath before I get to the end of singing these notes. So a nice deep breath, if you stand nice and tall, that really helps. And then you can take a deep breath from down in your tum here. And you'll be able to sing with much more confidence. So hear the notes in your head if you can. Stand up tall, take a deep breath, and that should really improve the confidence of your singing. You don't have to sing any words, so you can sing on any vowel that you want to. Lots of people find it quite useful just to sing la, 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 on each of the notes, and that does the purpose very nicely. Now, what we've got to do for the grade one exam is this. The examiner will play a chord that helps you to feel the key of the music. And then the examiner will play a phrase. In other words, a short musical sentence, a handful of notes, and then you're supposed to sing them back. And this is going to happen three times. In other words, the examiner plays a phrase, you sing it back. A second phrase is played, you sing it back. A third phrase is played, you sing it back. So don't worry too much if you make a mistake in the first phrase, because hopefully you'll have a bit more confidence in the second and the third phrase. Anyway, let's just get used to singing some notes. So I'm going to give you a key chord. This is the chord that helps you to feel the key of the music. So here's a key chord. And you might just be able to feel, having heard that key chord, that the notes of the scale that belong to that key chord are these. This is actually the scale of C major, and this is the key chord for C major. But don't worry too much about which key we're in, because this is all about singing the notes. But this key chord just helps you to get your bearings and to get some idea of what kind of notes we might be expecting to hear. Okay, so here's a key chord, and I'm going to play some notes and see if you can sing them back and get really confident about singing the notes back. Okay, here's the first note. La. 
What about this one? La. Here's another one. La. 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 Now, I wonder how you got on with that. If you found that nice and easy and you're confident about it, that's great, move on. If you found that a little bit tricky, you might just want to go back over that and have another go at it. Okay, let's do exactly the same thing, but this time we're going to work in a different key, just to get the idea that these things might come in different keys. So here's a new key chord. This one's going to be for D major. Doesn't matter too much if you're not entirely sure what D major is all about, but you may well be playing a scale of D major or playing some pieces in D major, in which case you'll know that D major has got F sharp and C sharp in it. Here's the key chord for D major. And that means the scale of D major that belongs to that key chord is this. So what that means is that in this test, I'm only going to play notes that belong to the scale of D major, belong to the key of D major. So you see how this key chord just gives you the kind of idea as to what the possible notes might be. That's the key chord again. Okay, let's see if we can actually sing some notes back after I've played them. So just sing to La. Here's the first note. La. 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 Okay, how did you get on with that? Again, if that was straightforward, that's great, you can move forwards. If that was a little bit tricky, then go back and rehearse those two examples again, just so we get the idea of being able to move from one note to another note, feeling fairly confident about hearing the note in the head and then singing it once we've really kind of experienced it first in our heads. Okay, let's move on from there. And we're now going to try singing two notes at a time. I'm going to go back to C major for a minute. So here's the key chord for C major. Remember C major is the key that has no sharps and no flats. So here's the key chord. And here's a reminder of the scale of C. So you know that the notes I play are going to belong to that scale. Here's the key chord of C major again. And let's try doing two notes at a time. Here's the first pair of notes. La, la. La, la. La 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 
la la la la la la now if you were good at doing one note at a time I wonder how you got on doing two notes at a time. It gives you practice hearing the two notes and moving between one note and the next. Some of those notes are next door to each other. Some of them have to leap a little bit from one note to the next. So again, if you want to get more practice in doing two notes at a time, go back and work through that example again until you feel quite happy about it. Okay. Let's see if we can build up a bit. And now we're going to do three notes. Let's go back to D major again. Remember, D major is the one with the F sharp and the C sharp. Here's the key chord. And here's that scale. So those are the notes that I'm going to use. Some of them anyway. Here's the key chord again. And let's see if we can sing back three notes at a time. Here we go. La, la, la. La 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 so this is all giving us practice in singing one note at a time two notes at a time three notes at a time and i've been working with the first five notes of the scale there which is more than you need to know to be able to deal with grade one because when we do this test for grade one we're only dealing with the first three notes of the scale. So if you hear this D major key chord, you know you're dealing with these notes. Just the first three notes of the scale. If you hear a C major key chord, you're just dealing with these three notes, the first three notes of the scale. Now, of course, those notes could come in any order and they're going to come with a little bit of rhythm as well. So, I wonder how we would get on singing a whole short phrase. And for the purposes of grade one, it's just going to be two bars of music, and it's going to be in two time or in three time, just like that first test was with the clapping. So let's just get used to putting a whole phrase together in two time. Here's the key chord for C major. Here are the first three notes of that scale. Just so we have a feel for which three notes it's going to be and how they belong to that key chord. Okay, now you might have a phrase that goes something like this. La, 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 la. So did you notice what I did there? I sang back the notes that were played, and as well as singing the notes, I sang the right rhythm. I also sang the notes and the rhythm 
at the same speed at which they were played. So you've got to sing at the same speed. Don't sing them back slowly or quicker. Sing at exactly the same speed. So one thing you really want to do is build on your skills from that A test, the first test we did, you know, when we were busy clapping, just to be able to feel the speed of the music. And actually what will happen on the day of an exam is that the examiner will count you in so you can actually feel that speed before you start. So it will work like this. You'll be given a key chord. So you've got that and you'll be given the starting note, which is the first note of the scale. And then you'll be counted in like this. So if we use the example again, this is how the first phrase would work. Key chord. And now your starting note. And now counting in followed by the first phrase. One, two, one, two. La, 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 la. So you see how the key chord helps you to get a feel for the scale. The starting note is useful because you want to know where you start. And having that pulse helps you just to feel the pulse, the rhythm that's going to sit on it. And the other thing you've got to try and do is to get going straight away. So you don't do this. Have a little time to think about it and then sing la 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 we try to keep the pulse moving so we have the key chord we have the starting note then we have the pulse counted then we hear the phrase and then you keep the pulse going like this one two one two one two one two one, two, and one, two. Now you don't have to sing the numbers like I've just done for the beat. I'm just trying to show you how that beat keeps going nice and steadily and how you have to sing straight away as soon as you've heard that first phrase so it all flows on with a nice steady beat. Now if you can do a phrase like that quite happily, then singing three phrases shouldn't be too problematic. You can do the first one, the second and the third one will be different combinations of those notes and you know they'll just flow on with exactly that steady pulse moving all the way through the test. So the best thing we can do now having rehearsed all that is just to try doing some examples of what will happen. So here we go, here's a key chord and your starting note. And we're going to do all three phrases now. So I'll count in two bars of the pulse. One, two, one, two. Okay, I wonder how that went for you. It should have gone something like this. So you had the chord and the starting note and then the pulse. One, two, one, two. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. So do you see and hear that I was singing the notes that I played, I was singing the rhythm that I played, and I kept that pulse going all the way through, no pauses between, we just went straight on after the last note of each of those played phrases at the same speed. Okay, let's go on, let's try another one. Here's a new key chord and the starting note. One, two, three, one, two, three. How did that one go? 
should have gone something like this. Feel free to sing along with me this time just to get some confidence. Here's the key chord and the starting note. And the, here's the pulse. One, two, three, one, two, three. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. Okay, on we go. Here's another one. Here's the key chord. And the starting note. One, two, one, two. Okay, let's hear how that might have gone. Sing along with me if you want to. Here's the key chord and the starting note. One, two, one, two. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. Okay, here's another example. The more practice we can do at this, the more confident you'll be. Here's a new key chord that's a bit higher this time. And the starting note. One, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, let me do that one once more, and this time I'll sing, sing with me. Here's the key chord, and the starting note. One, two, three, one, two, three. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. Okay, here's another one. Here's the key chord. And the starting note. One, two, one, two. Okay, and that should have gone like this. Here's the key chord, starting note. One, two, one, two. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. La, 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 la. Okay. Another example, just so we get plenty of practice at this. Here is the key chord and the starting note. One, two, three, one, two, Okay, let's see how you got on with that one. I'll sing along with you this time. Here's the key chord and the starting note. One, two, three, one, two, three. La, 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 la. La, 
la 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 well i hope that's given you plenty of practice in tackling this test and that you're now clear about what has to be done there you can rehearse those examples over and over and the more you do them the more confident you'll be but remember stand up nice and straight take a deep breath sing out without forcing the sound and that will really add to your confidence. Then listen to that starting note, having heard the key chord, listen to that pulse that's given and keep it going regularly all the way to the test. And all should be well in test B, echo singing. Hopefully I'll see you soon for the next particular film on the next test.